Hey guys, this is Miron from Star Speaker Arts and welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually starting off already in the middle of the recording for this particular video. Um, I had a much much longer clip and this actually took me much longer than what I'm showing here on the video. Uh, mainly because I actually already had a background, a sketch, the base colors and almost a little bit of rendering already. Uh, after coming back to it several sessions later, I realized that I didn't really like how it looked. I feel like there was something wrong with the anatomy. So it took me maybe two or three more times before I ended up with what I have right now. So we'll actually just start from that point. I don't really want to show the other parts. It's kind of just more or less the same anyway. And it would be kind of boring, honestly. So I, I just cut that out. So we're just going with pretty much a restart of this. So the background. Uh, it's pretty much more or less the same. It's still this purple and brown mix and I wanted to have mist and smoke around it. Uh, yeah, so I guess just for context, this is technically original art. Um, it's of my Final Fantasy XIV character as he goes through the story. So this is a series I've sort of been doing for the past couple of months already. I started with the A Realm Reborn, like my character, how he looked like. Uh, uh, in a scene in, in a realm reborn and then i did heaven sword a month or two ago i think so this time it's stormblood and now you know stormblood is very war leaning and type of theming so i wanted this to be a bit more dramatic a little bit more you know not as relaxed or chill or nice as the other painting so i, I just wanted to match the vibe of that entire story so after this, I'll be moving on to the Shadowbringers expansion. I already have an idea in mind of what I want to draw for that. Um, so I'm kind of excited because I actually do really like the the map, the Stormblood, and the Stormblood, the, the Shadowbringers expansion. So pretty excited about that. As to when it'll happen, we'll see. Since right now I'm actually going through the Dawn Trail MSQ and just playing the game essentially. So here, I'm actually trying to figure out how this outfit works. So this is the Wonder... Uh, yeah, I already forgot what the what the name of the armor is, but it is, it's the Bard uh, class armor for... Uh, <laughs> for what? Heaven's Sword, I think? Or something like that? Like it, It's one of the Bard class gears. And it's, it's really nice. I really like it. It's, it's very... The color is very nice, you know, compared to the ARR class armor i feel like ever since oh no no because heaven supports the eight dots the, the red and black ones i think this might be the storm blood one actually i'm not too sure uh but you know i actually really like all of the the bard class gear except the, the first air r1 uh, that, okay so the air r1 i felt looks good on female characters but if you put it on a guy like, you can make it work you can make it work it's just on my all lang female and it said it didn't feel like it fit properly so I, I never wore it and the one that i first wore was already the red and black one i think from heaven's ward i think this the shadow this the storm blood one because the shadow bringers one i think was the the green cowboy ish or like western vibe one and the and walker one is the really pretty <laughs> really pretty again black and red and white one which i wore for a long time so that might be what i'll be wearing in in the end walker one but you know that will be nice first so i haven't seen the one for dawn Peel yet i should i should see if i always do a collection on the has it I'm, I'm curious i want to see what it looks like i'm always excited for class gear uh they're always really pretty the, the one i struggle the most is probably the black mage and maybe the astrologian one Again, because they tend to be very long and flowy, and it just doesn't match the vibe of my character. So I usually have to find a different glamour for for astrologian and for black mage. As for the two new classes, Viper and Pictomancer, I have tried them out both a little bit. It's just a little hard to queue and level them up since everyone's doing that. So I've actually just been running with my bard and my scholar for the most part for the MSQ. Uh, even my tank is just leveling passively when I do the daily roulettes. Um, I'll get there eventually. I'm gonna take my time with Dawn Trail. 
I, I, I only wanted to rush the first week or two just because everyone's still lost, everyone's still trying to figure out all of the dungeons and all of the mechanics, but I, I didn't want to rush through the story. I wanted to enjoy it at my own pace and I just wanted to get to the first dungeon and the first trial just to see the chaos that comes with it. Since I, I joined Final Fantasy XIV during uh, either Dark Throne or either in between Dark Throne and God's Travel, Dance Tremble, or God's Dance something like that, <laughs> during, during the post and Walker patches. So I never got the experience that it was like to enjoy the story as people were still completely new at it, gathered. So that's that's what really excited me the most for for Dawn Trail. Sorry, wise, I am enjoying it a little bit. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice fresh start. I like how the wall or the the, the warrior flight the character is somewhat characterized in this particular expansion. So they're more relaxed. They're actually slightly more cocky and a little bit more sassy, uh, which you see in the side quests or like the the blue side quests, but not as much in the main story. I, I like that they're kind of bringing that out a bit more in the main story now. But yeah, um, how about you? Are you enjoying Dawnfield right now? Or are you maybe new to the game? Or maybe you're still catching up to the story? And honestly, like, no rush. Final Fantasy is quite, like, even for me, like, I, I joined post and blocker already. When a lot of players already stopped playing, or a lot of players are just taking a break while waiting for Dawnfield. It was still pretty easy for me to get into the dungeons or like clear content because there's still a lot of people playing. People, a lot of players still playing. So, at least for Japan, because I, I use Japan servers, uh, the ping's better. Uh, yeah, it's just a better experience for me than trying to deal with the lag and the ping for Europe or America. Uh, at the the Australian one, I, I kind of forgot that there was an Australian server until I needed to meet some friends up there, so eh, it's fine. So I guess about the artwork itself, um, I, I kind of like how I did this, this part that we're doing now with the detailing of the gold and the, the lights and the, how the shadows look on the color. Uh, I actually like it. I, I feel like I did pretty well with that. Like it's, it doesn't look so flat, it doesn't look so smooth, but it's not so textured and not so messy either. So I, I kind of like how this turned out, honestly. Um, I feel like composition-wise, I could have done a lot more. Maybe um, a little bit more lighting, a little bit more detail in the background, I feel like. So I doesn't do this a bit more uh, and brought it a bit closer to what I had in my head. Yeah. But otherwise, I think the, the character itself looks good. The one thing I really struggled with this drawing is really the positioning and proportions of the character. So I, I used like the posing doll, um, even the 3D in, in CSP posing doll. And yet I keep on changing and adjusting the, the body part. It's like, oh, this feels weird. Like that arm is there. I moved it from like above his knee to, to overlap with his knee a bit more, which meant I had to erase and pretty much cover up some of the hard work that I did. And I know a lot of more professional experience artists do this. Like sometimes they just completely scrap, or not really scrap, but like kind of essentially break their work just to fix it. And now I understand why, but also it feels like, oh, that's so much effort. <laughs> but also if I leave it alone, I, I know I won't be happy and I'll see it. And I won't, you know, I wouldn't feel as out of it as I could have been if I didn't do it. So, you know, it's just. A little more extra time to work on it and have to rebuild some of the parts again. Just wasn't as painstaking as I thought. Maybe back then it was super painstaking since I used 
uh, line art before the tactile painting, but now that it's the reverse, uh, I can actually just move and edit things around, no problem. art style has changed quite a bit in the past one to two years uh, ever since I did the light and color book by Ethan Fox and all of that which really helped me out so now I'm in the middle of trying to figure out what I really like do I really do I want to continue the very soft and dreamy type of painting look or do I want to keep the more hard edges because I feel like that's something I also want to have so Right now, I'm I'm in a bit of a learning phase with it, and I'm enjoying it really. Back then, I didn't enjoy coloring; I enjoyed line art more. But now, I feel like I'm enjoying the coloring process a lot more nowadays than I used to. To the point that it even even lets me work on backgrounds now. So yeah, I, I guess learning something new also opens up and helps you get over some of the things that you used to not like doing. And this time, I actually remembered the face tattoo that I actually have. I always forget that when I when I draw, and I just add it in later on again. This time, I remembered to add it in. Yay! So now I'm just adding in the line art just because it feels like I still need a little bit of that extra definition from it. But we're almost at the end of the video. I'll just be coloring in that line art, adding in some mist and fog to the foreground. And I hope you enjoyed the video. 